the greatest female 1500 meter runner in history, Faith Kipyegon, bidding for a fourth 1500 world outdoor medal. No woman has ever done that. The double Olympic champion wants this title back. Laura Muir finished to the Americans, a former Pan American junior champion, then Winnie Chibet, African champion and seventh three years ago jessica hull the first of two australians twice a national champ titles the final of the 1500 now it's a pretty decent looking star gudaf sege has got a, a beautifully economic looking style and mashasha trying to come wide and she's cut up winnie chibet now sege and Meshesha have gone to the front with Kip Yegon in third and Laura Muir in fourth. We've got the answer to the first question. This is not tactical. This looks, this looks fast. Yes, but pay attention to that 400 meter mark. See what they're coming around in. Well, you don't often see gaps like this after 300 meters. Gunap Sege taking the round. The Olympic champion is tracking her, and so too is the Olympic silver medalist. There's a gap of some, what, 10 or 12 metres, 55.1. I'll say that again, 55.1 at 400 metres. There will be some casualties if it carries on this fast. That is an extraordinary pace with which to start this race. All credit to Muir and Faith Kip Yegon for going with it. Can they keep this going all the way to the end? Meshesha, perhaps sensibly, or maybe because she can't sustain this, she's allowed a metre or so to grow between herself and the leading trio. Sege from Kip Yegon with Muir. And now Meshesha comes back round on the outside. What an extraordinary turn of speed. And now Faith Kip Yegon picks it up. It's Hailu trying to get that chase group back in contention. Surely they'll begin to close because the first four will really feel that. 203 at 800 metres. And the gaps are beginning to grow. It's Sege, the bronze medalist in Tokyo over 5,000 metres from Faith Kip Yegon and Laura Muir. These three are away, but how long can they maintain this searing peace? Are we looking at the three medalists, or will somebody from that chase group manage to come through? Faith Kip Yegon is tracking Gudaf Sege, just as she did here in Eugene, and beat her with a 3.52, and they're arguing with each other. This is an intense rivalry here. The three of them are miles clear. Listen to the noise at the bell. Listen to the noise. It's extraordinary here. An Ethiopian, a Kenyan, and a Briton driving for the line. Keep half an eye on Freyweni Haleu, who has broken clear of the chasers. Watch the clock as well. This is so fast. Kip Yegon, the greatest 1500 meter runner in history, trying to pull away from Sege. Now you see the tension. Laura Muir's working. She's got to hang on, but I think they're okay for the medals. They're still miles clear of the athletes in fourth, fifth, and sixth. Faith Kip Yegon bidding to become the first woman to win four 1500 meter medals. This has been utterly extraordinary. It's not far off the world record. She hasn't just taken this title. She's absolutely obliterated the whole field. 352.96. Sege takes silver. Laura Muir might have produced a national record for third. She didn't just sneak that. She absolutely storms to it. The double Olympic champion becomes the double world champion. And what a way to do it. It was lightning quick from the very start. And when she moved to the front, she was so smooth and so strong and so confident. There was no beating her.
She was already the greatest female 1500 meter runner of all time before tonight, and her legacy goes even further.